filled the ice tray with her discharge, so of course I'm going to throw in the bin. I was never going to use that to cool down my beverages. Welcome to episode number 30 of the Marty and Michael podcast. We've been here for four hours and we've been uh, lost. Yeah, I was a tired day. We've been we've been surfing. We've been out surfing. You've got to tell them the results. Yeah, 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 yeah. And sorry about last week's podcast. Apparently the sound I'm proud of it. I'm proud of it. There are a lot of mistakes. We're probably going to be... No, we'll pep up. A lot of mistakes last week. Don't fucking touch her plants. Plants like affection. That's a fact. That's the one you ripped last time. Yeah, and look how healthy it is. Yeah, wait, maybe you fixed it. Yeah, 100% I fixed it. it you got to rip off the broken parts to make them flourish, just like a human. If a human has a broken finger, rip it off. What about if it's got brain damage? Rip it off. <laughs> last week I thought I was going to die. It turns out I've only just got minor liver damage and pneumonia, so... One hardcore course antibiotics and the coughing has stopped my... You were uh, coughing up blood all I week. Coughing up blood. I thought I was going to die. And like I was... Yeah, last week's podcast was really low energy because I, I, I knew something horrible was wrong with my body. But it turns out it's just it's just a lung infection. And, and the doctor said also, he's like, oh, your liver functions a bit abnormal. So maybe don't drink as much. And here we are. Yeah, well, it's just good that you're not dying. Yeah, you can have a bad, bad liver. That's fine. Most people have a bad liver. Most people don't. And you can just get a new one. Yeah, well, the liver is one of those organs that is regenerates if you just don't touch it for a while. Bullshit. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Liver is one of the only organs that can fix itself. Oh, wow. So you're fine. You're yeah, weird. as long as you don't touch it for like two years, then it's fine. Yeah, once you pass the point, then it's downhill. No, fast. you just get a replacement. No, you can't. Bro, you can't get liver transplants. It's illegal in California. Fuck. And we went there. We went there. Matt Brown from Wholesome. We'll be. He will be our guest later in the show. Matt Brown from Wholesome. The people have asked for it, and uh, we are going to deliver Matthew Brown from Wholesome. He is going to be on the show as a guest, and he will be showing you his cock hole. He will be showing you his dick and balls, his ass, and a map of where he works. So if you're listening to it on Spotify, <laughs> make sure you go to our YouTube, Marty and Michael Fully Actual, so you can see it live. A detailed blueprint live. of his office in Milton. He will be showing us exactly where he sits <laughs> and exactly who works underneath him. It will be incredible. He knows the architects. Wholesome. <laughs> all right we've got some uh on this days uh so the date is the 42nd of more in the 2019 area and on this day back in 1417 a king was told that he was a fuckwit by three men whoa that was the first time that's that when happened. Jesus was born? No, 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 no. Jesus was born before that. But a king was told for the first time in history that he's a fuckwit by three different men on the same day. So they've written that, that down as a part of history. And that happened on this day in 14, whatever like 602 I years ago. On this day uh, in 2019, September the 11th, uh, people spoke about a horse that won a race on this day even it's not this it's not september 11th yeah on this day on september 11th oh. so not this day but on this day on a different day people spoke about a horse that won a race and that happened there's a fast there was so, two horses apparently so great great news that that happened and also last last on this day on this day 15 100 years ago there there weren't any plants so on this day 1500 years ago the first plant was uh conceived and now there are plants everywhere so you'd never you'd never think that you'd never think of a back to a time where there were no plants and now there's they're everywhere so it's like 1500 years ago on this day plants came about <laughs> how was your weekend yeah, it wasn't too bad. I got um, I, I got my clean bill of health. 
So uh, I've, I've been smiling, but yeah, I have to um, be careful of my liver function. So <sighs> it's best not to drink that much. I just dodged you hard. You fucking I was coward. distracting you because I needed to piss. I oh thought, my I god! Thought you, I thought your line of questioning was weak. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. I wasn't listening. I was just concentrating on pissing in the bottle. Yeah, oh god, it's so clear. It's You've had far too much alcohol. That is far too clear. I mean, to like be, five beers. The time is currently quarter to five, and yeah. his piss is that clear. Yeah, that's shit talk, I guess. Happy birthday to uh, Ronald Reagan. Uh, he turns fifteen today, and he is a person. And Golf Whitlam. Golf, to- Golf Willem and Ronald Reagan, they watch the show religiously. They are both 15 and they are both from Toowoomba. So, boys, thank you for watching. And uh, last but not least, of course, on the famous birthdays on this day, uh, um, Corn, Corn, was Corn turns 15. Turn- Corn turns 15 as well. Wow, Corn's been here for 15 years. Oh, oh, oh. Shocking that it's I hate corn because it gets in your teeth. I remember eating it as a kid, but I can't. My memory that's that's not real. It's the Mandela it's effect. Years old. It's the Mandela effect. I have read that in two articles that I wrote. Yeah. We've started doing pranks again, you may have noticed. So you're probably really happy about that, like we are. <laughs> yeah, thanks. No, I'm not shaking your hand. Yeah, so we're pretty happy about that. And um it's time in two, three nights. We're going camping with Shami. That will already have happened by the time you're we're gonna get. I'm gonna get pissed as shit. All right, Michael's gonna get aggressively drunk, which means he'll probably pass out. And it's a tent, so you can piss it because it's just a tent. Yeah. No one cares about tents. Not sure who's organizing the tents, but yeah, that's. Um, I guess we'll worry about that later. We've Moving on, we're, we're on to our next segment, which of course is fan questions. Um, and the segment has been um, renamed this week uh, to... Um, exactly. Whoa. Fans have sent in questions via Instagram. And here we go. Let's, let's do our best to answer them. <laughs> Fuck, is this clapping a new fucking thing that we do I don't do know yet. Week? It reminds me of cows shitting when a few people clap. That's There's why I like it. There's a few cow questions, actually. <laughs> this one's from Kate, L-Y-N-A. Kate Lena, I guess, 17. And she's asked, what is your favorite color to paint your nails? Black. Black because it's uh, a less feminine color, but it's also um, your nails are painted. So it's like... You know, it's it's like a compromise of feminine and masculinity. Ellen Lawrenson, what's it like to be famous? P.S. You're the best. Great question. With love, heart, eyes. Great question. Um, look, it's uh, being famous is everything you expect it to be. It's awesome. It's the best. Uh, you feel awesome all the time. Everyone knows who you are and you just like, oh, you feel really good. You walk with your head held high and everything's just the best and you feel amazing and you just, nothing can beat you. You're the best. And also, uh, when when you said, P.S., you're the best, yes, that's true. I'll put an honest take on it. Sometimes it's annoying. No. It's okay. I get uncomfortable sometimes when, when I walk into a shop. MMA. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can't do drugs in public when you're famous because people just fucking film you. So it has to be private. But I hate it when you walk into a shop and you're waiting to get food or something and you hear people snickering. Oh, that's that, that. But they don't say anything to you. Like, come up and get a photo. Yeah, like, we're, 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 like, waiting for you to come and get a photo so that we can show our friends and stuff that we're really famous. So, just come and get a photo and just talk about us behind our backs. Yeah, it's uncomfortable. It's yeah. rude. I'd rather, I'd rather get, like, get, you know, some raised eyebrows from friends that are around. Like, oh, wow, you're actually, like, really famous. Rather than just me noticing you staring at me and whispering pointing, some shit. Pointing and shit. Yeah, it's rude. It's rude. But yeah, it's awesome. Ah! <laughs> All right, next one's from Benjamin. F F F F R I T Z. Fritz. Fritz. And he's asked, oh man. 
Who would win out of a boxing match between you two? Matthew Brown from Wholesome. Dude, well, you would kick my ass. You yeah, are. Well, it's not really fair, is it? There's about a 10 kilo weight difference. And yeah, you did boxing for a bit. All right, next question is from Rod Regas. Rod Rigo Mass. Where's the default face? All right, so for those of you watching on YouTube, we will show the default face for five seconds. For those of you watching on Spotify, head to our YouTube to see the default face. It's hard to explain. Picture a face that has had a crowbar forcefully shoved into the middle of the face and the bone structure is caved in, heading in towards the brain. All right, for those of you watching on YouTube, on standby, five, four, three, two, one, the default face. It feels right. Which is, of course, his face when he's not... The face he's got on right now is a put-on face. Acting for the show because of fame. It's not shit. his real face. The default face is called the default like, face because that's how he's born. That's how he wakes up in the morning. That's his face when he's asleep. That's his face when he's relaxed. That's was, his face. Yeah. It was... You know how, like, I think Down syndrome people have, like, an extra chromosome or something? I had two extra chromosomes. Yeah. And that's the D. It's and called the And they were the both default. in the face. Both of his extra chromosomes are both in the face. So, but I've learned to just, yeah, like it's an, it's hard. I strain my face every like right now. It hurts to keep this. Yeah, and when he relaxes, it slowly morphs into the default face. Yeah, yeah, and like if I'm getting drunk as fuck, then it, yeah, I go back to relaxation, and then it just comes out. But yeah, that's why that night when it came out in LA, because we got so fucked up. The whole night, that was me. Yeah, he just he just thought, "Fuck it, I'm just going to be myself tonight," and, <laughs> and that's who and that's who we saw. Default, default, Michael. <laughs> All right, next questions from J underscore Dan thirty four, um, and he's asked, "Fuck, marry, kill." And this is for you, I gather, Martin. Cow, Michael, Lachlan. Um, look, I'd probably do all three to the cow. I'd fuck the cow, I'd marry the cow, and then I'd kill the cow. I wouldn't even look twice at Michael or Lachlan if there's a cow in the same room. It's not a fair question. I, w I would rather kill myself than do anything but divert my attention away from the cow. Okay? So if you want me, if you're expecting me to delegate one of those three to each of the three people you mentioned, no, it's not going to happen. I will do all three to the cow or kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh man what about could you change it like why not marry it so it's like it's beautiful then you get to fuck it after the wedding so you got something to look forward to because you have so i wouldn't be able to no fuck it first i wouldn't be able to i'd, I'd kill if i didn't fuck it first i'd kill it first <laughs> see the fuck Marry, kill, or kill, fuck, <laughs> marry. No, kill, marry, fuck. Yeah. Oh, man. Did you shit? Not yet. <laughs> wow. Oh, that cheered me up. Hmm. That cheered me up. Hmm. This one's from Gasman3434. He's asked, podcast question, what's the theme song of your life? Mine is What's My Age Again, Blink-182. All right, my, my song would have to be uh, My Milkshake Brings All the Boys to the Yard from that uh, chick called Kellis. Kellis? Am mm. I saying that correctly? Kellis? I can see you liking that. You and, can, uh, I can see you going to, down, to town on cows. And uh, the reason that that is my song is because it is, uh, it is very relatable. Uh, my Milkshake does bring a lot of uh, boys to... My yard. It happens quite quite a lot, so that's why. Mine would be Jojo, get out. Leave right now. Leave right now. I've heard you say that to me many times. There's been so many times. Every time we've put that song on when we're driving with Jackson, because he drives illegally, every, like he goes through red lights, he speeds, he and he never gets caught. He never gets caught. But when we put that song on, which we do, and he's refused after three times because 
the three times we put leave Hot. get out by Jojo, he's got pulled over and gotten fines for either going through red lights or speeding. So Jojo brings the popo. <laughs> but that's my theme song because it's just so good. I love it. Ollie Soybean 06. You'll like this one. How are you so beautiful? Well, it just it's a genetic thing. And also we spend hours grooming ourselves every day. Like I spend at least three to four hours uh, plucking my back hair with uh, tweezers. And I also enjoy punching. I just punch shit uh, to keep my upper body as toned as you see it. And the clothes that I, I choose, I um, I get a stylist to fucking choose it. Mm, it's expensive, but it's good. Oh, yeah. I, I strain my face to death every day. Well, default face. Yeah. Like, it's so hard right now to act cool. Every fucking moment, it's hard. And then when I go to bed, I'm relaxed. That's why I sleep heaps. Yeah, it's because you can re- finally move back to default face. Yeah. Get those two chromosomes. They're lodged up in his forehead, those two chromosomes. Mm. Last question. James underscore Cocker Cocker Ill 99. How long did it take for you two to realize you have sexual, or for you, I guess, Marty, to have sexual feelings for Bosley? And does Bos get jealous towards cows? Look... You've you've you said it. Oh, it hasn't come out yet. It comes out today. You said it last week. You haven't acted on him at all. Yeah, no. Bosley is Bosley is my child. There, there. Despite physical attractions, I would never do anything to him. However, you have sucked him off. <laughs> but no, Bosley is not jealous of cows because he sees me as his father figure, the one who feeds him. He expects me to once I. Uh, knock the cow unconscious to strip its flesh and to feed it to him. So he's not jealous, he's excited. And he can't wait for me to dig my fingers into the cow's skin underneath the first layer of muscle and pull back using my... all my... I'd I'd fucking squat on it and push my fingers through the first layer of muscle and then stand up hard with my... like a deadlift... Picture a deadlift and I'd pull back at the same time and just pull that first layer of muscle off the cow and toss it to Bosley. That's why he's excited for no other reason. There's nothing sexual about it with Bosley. He's my dog, you sick fuck. God, that's disgusting. What a what a twisted, twisted puppy. Shit! Oh, I tried so hard. Oh. Oh. That is the end of our uh, questionnaire, um, which of course leads us to our next segment what called. What is the next segment? Well, I don't know what it is, but it's. Let it's me read the it. title first. It's just written here on the laptop. It is called. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 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 that hurt my ears again. Thank you. Um, and this is a segment where we get a special guest on the show. Um, so yeah, it's a it's a new one. Um, and for this week, let me introduce our guest. He is uh, known for supplying large, if not overly huge amounts of concrete to businesses, to Indians sometimes. Sometimes Indians need concrete. He'll supply it to them. If, you're, if, if you need concrete, he'll, he's the guy you talk to. He also uh, produces one of the, well... <laughs> The best podcast in, uh, in the world. In the world, and he's also known for being able to skull a bottle of piss. No, that's me. Oh yeah, right. Uh, so, without further oh, ado, let us you. introduce for the first for every time behind camera for the first time on camera, Mister Matthew <laughs> Brown from Whole Fuck it. Sim. Um, all right, so this is what he looks like. This is what Matthew Brown from Wholesome looks like. So once you, if you visit their website, you'll be able to see what his face looks like now if you need any concrete needs. There he is. All right, you see him on the street and you, you see a pothole, approach him. It's probably been filled by another company. Approach him. <laughs> he has <laughs> cups. All his furniture is concrete. He has cups. Your coffee cup is concrete. His couch is made of hard... Linen. My forks are made out of concrete. <laughs> There's nothing 
soft in his house. That's how, <laughs> that's how wholesome he is. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So the people have been wanting you on the podcast, Matthew Matthew Brown, for some time. Actually, Matthew thank you. Gregory Brown. <laughs> so why don't we start by just telling everyone um, where do you work? <laughs> <laughs> um, I work at a uh, wholesome concrete. <laughs> wholesome concreting, and and so all right. Well, let, let's just. <laughs> Uh, so so what do they think what do they think about this do they know yet some do yeah definitely there's there's fans within the business of you guys so i get a lot of questions about certain videos and what happened afterwards and stuff what, and, what happened behind the scenes and has there been any uh any business driven to wholesome from this absolutely zero from okay. this. Uh, so, the, so the listeners aren't uh concreters yet but i'm sure as we expand wholesome will be number one number one well, it already is number one at concreting so matthew brown why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself why don't you tell us your age your favorite color your favorite food and how you met us oh i'm 15 my favorite color is red mm. really? and yeah Yuck. yeah i know I really got to change my favorite color. Where did I meet you guys? It was uh, about food. what's your favorite food? Oh, what's my favorite food? Um, Mexican mm. for sure. Oh, mm, I love Definitely. Mexican That's boys. Sugary. Small little Mexican. Love Mexican boys. Um, oh, where did I meet you guys? So probably about eleven years ago, mm. and I met you separately. I didn't meet you together. I met Marty first, mm. of course. <laughs> and um, Marty was a little German boy, and he uh, he was down at West End one night, and a mutual friend of ours, Mister Lee, he um, he brought me down to meet Marty at the old music room. Do you remember the music room? Of course, I remember West the music End? room. Music cafe. It was mean? a music cafe. I thought it was yeah. music room. Same. Shit. I used to yeah, I used to work there. No, really? Yeah, yeah, he was. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, Without warning, Marty walked up to me and he just said, Hey, I'm Marty. Watch this. And he walked into a 7-Eleven and just started uncontrollably busting chip packets. Yep. Laughing. (laughs) (laughs) Marty always breaks shit. When you go to Woolworths, he'll just get packets of shit, smash them. It used to be a lot worse because um, there didn't used to be so many starving kids, but now there's way more of a... So I, I don't do it as much. Yeah, you've stopped. Yeah, yeah. And the the gentleman behind the counter was like, could you please stop that? And he completely ignored him and he stared at me as he continued busting chip packets. And as he left the store, he squished a big packet of bread. Yeah, I remember that. And that's it. We were friends from then. Wow. You're a good guy. That's what it takes to become part of the wholesome family. (laughs) (laughs) You feel wholesome with wholesome. So Michael um, had just come back, I think, from Europe maybe or some sort of overseas trip i'm not sure which one and we both knew that we were going to meet and it was really talked up we're really excited to meet each other and um anyway you you showed up and you the first thing you said was to me was uh hey matt i'm I'm michael i went hey how's it going and and you went i've got a hemorrhoid Mm. (laughs) oh dude he had a lot of hemorrhoids (laughs) from excessive drinking that's what happens and uh without warning turned around and dropped his pants and um spread his ass cheeks and showed me his hemorrhoid it was a true highlight of whenever he did that because on on trips away when we're traveling it would grow and it got to yeah. like a 50 cent piece like a ping pong ball just next to it was asshole. big at the time yeah oh, i love that it. big yeah yeah man it got it was started as a you were pushing a, it with your finger as a p oh. started as a as a pea-sized ball and the hemorrhoid would grow as we went on bender after bender after bender and it was just more entertaining every single evening he looked like the elephant man yeah um but uh and then straight after you had spread your ass cheeks you then came over and shook my hand <laughs> it was lovely though and we've been we were we were the best of friends straight away yeah. Yeah. We got along really well. So we've got some good feelings for yeah. Matthew Gregory Brown. And the relationship with you two led to the you know the first um, you know kiss of another man. It was quite. Uh, so you we, have you have kissed kiss? the both of us? Not that day, but it came. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Matt- we did. We did kiss. 
I've kissed you here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not we've, on the first we've all meeting. kissed. We've all kissed here. No, th- not let's not be bashful here. Yeah. We've all kissed many, many times. Mm. Uh, what What do you hope to achieve with this podcast, Matthew Brown? I don't know. Do in all honesty, I just wanted to hang out with my friends and be creative and create something. I think there was you guys were doing prank prank videos all the time, and I really thought. There's so many more platforms you guys could do because you guys are so naturally creative and naturally funny. The best. I'll and agree, I, I'll agree with that. Yep. And I, I pulled Marty aside one and I was sort of experimenting with looking into podcasts and experimenting, you know, experimenting with it. And I said to Marty one night over a few wines, I hmm. said, I said, would you be interested in doing a podcast and I'll, I'll come in and produce and do what I can. And then this was born. So th- this, these mics, they're yours. Yeah. This thing here is called a, Power play, power play. <laughs> it's, called a, it's a power play. So this is just for our headphones. It's a headphone jack. And and of course, everything else here is also Matthew Brown's and he also pays the rent here. I pay Michael's rent. So yeah, he, he does. It's so we earn nothing his- from the... Every fucking podcast we do that we put on YouTube gets demonetized for some reason. Spotify and SoundCloud don't monetize podcasts. So just mm. so you know... Ah! 30 episodes deep, we don't earn a cent from podcasts yet. Oh, so man, We have a good time, though. Oh, yeah, 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 we have a good time. But just so you know, those watching, it's for free. Everything is for free, okay? For the, so it's just, for the fans. So, so just take that on board and think, oh, I might show this to my uncle now. Or mum. Yeah, but maybe just show it to your uncles. The children. And try and grow. We're trying to just grow our uncle demographic. Because hmm. we know them very well. And they know us. Can I ask you guys some questions? Us. They know us. Matthew Brown. Yes. What made you want to go into the social media world? Like, really, you've, you've said so many different answers to this. I really want to know the truth. What, what? psychological reason is there? Well, there's a few. It's well, a few. Well, but I think the overriding and fundamental reason is that we have a a gift, a gift that not many other humans have, and that gift is that we're the best. Dude, I'm gonna throw it out there. I was driving down the other weekend to the Gold Coast, and I was like, as I've been listening to podcasts now because I got AirPods, and I was like, fuck it. Normally, I've been listening to Joe Rogan or Alan Watts and some fucking just trying to keep my mental health in check because I'm this close to killing myself. But this one came up and I was like, fuck it. I'll listen to my own podcast. (laughs) And I listened to like go back to the podcast number 17. I listened to it and I was in tears. What one was 17? Yeah, it was just a we. It was the most fuck story ever that we've ever said, and it was a great prank call. I was the whole way through pissing myself laughing at hearing Marty in my own voice going, and it, that's it backs that up. We truly are the best. Like we might like maybe last week we weren't, and this week I don't know. Like we're not. I'm a bit yeah. It's a bit but, dizzy. Yeah, a bit dizzy. I was a bit away. hot. Bit hot and bothered. It's summer. It's Inf- spring been now. Infected. The aircon's not on. But dude, yeah, we we just we, the gift. At the, what at Marty the, was saying. At the end of the day, it becomes a responsibility. So no matter how dark and sad and gloomy we may feel, we know that in order to contribute to society, we need to give our gift, <laughs> and, and and it will make it will make people happy. And and that is why we do what we do. We because like to make people laugh. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Fair. To Marty and Michael. Here, here. Here, here. To Marty and Michael and our producer Matthew Brown. Awesome. Awesome. So since you've started doing this, other people have wanted you to produce podcasts as well. Yeah, they? I've had a few. Um so when I started I had a friend of mine. Aaron Shanks, he was um, interested in podcasts as well. And we sort of started looking at it together and he's headed down the rabbit hole of the podcast with the diaries of the wild ones and is having some good success. And uh, his stories on, uh, on that was incredible. And I've, I've gone on and done a bit of producing and, and, and uh, coming on as a guest on his and it's just really enjoyable stuff. So you just have a love for podcasts. And what would you say is your favorite podcast? 
the Marty and Michael. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just testing. Just testing. Um, what, what would you say is your second favorite podcast? What do you listen to? Oh, <laughs> of course, I listen to Joe Rogan as every single other person <laughs> does, but I also listen to uh, Joe's. I'm going to fuck his last name up, but I'm gonna, Joe Santagado. Santagado. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. He's a I, funny YouTuber guy. Yeah. I just I enjoy him because he sits down, and he just talks shit, and it's just real life stuff he talks about, and it's hilarious. So I don't mind. I am mind listening to him and the fighter and the kid, Brian Callen and Brandon Schwab. Oh yeah, They're Matt Brown's fun. a qualified uh, photographer. If anyone <laughs> needs some work or weddings, he can do it. And and what's your Instagram, Matt Brown? My Instagram is Matt Brown and four ones. Um, so if you remember the four ones, if you have any questions or would <laughs> oh, like no. to send and like to send your naked physical body to matthew brown <laughs> if you it, it, just just for just for some just like unbiased judgment if you just want some feedback on what your physical body looks like send it to matthew brown and uh if you do we'll give you a shout out next podcast just send it to him and he'll give you some really real feedback uh, and that's not yeah, a joke I, uh, when, whenever we'll i'm the replies I, yeah. I did try to write back in the last episode where marty says to message me i did try to write back to everyone i'm sorry if i didn't but um it was yeah. some pretty fun everyone was really funny so thank you for writing to me and darcy fletcher darcy fletcher sent me a message he was a legend so i thought i'd shout him out as well mm. On your dar sauce. So yeah, if you, so you know, Michael and I, if we're, if we're feeling self conscious or we're not sure about something that we're wearing, we send it to Matthew Brown, his Instagram, and he'll he'll give us some really honest feedback. So if you just need something looked at, if you've got like a mole in a weird place, if your assholes got bleeding, an yeah, we can black salve it. What just whatever the problem, just send it to Matt. Okay, as as you know, he's a produ- he's a podcast producer. He works as wholesome, but he's also he has an eye for fashion, and he he just 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 trust me. It's hard to explain. Just send him photos of your physical body, please. Please, I'm asking you guys. Please. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh man, I'm like oh, It's gonna be horrible. Somebody, uh, one guy sent me a, 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 a screenshot of my LinkedIn profile the other day. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's a good start. But like, just send him maybe of photos of now. your legs or like just eat, you know whatever. You, you got a weird spot on you or you send me feet or you you're, you know you've you've progress shots at the gym whatever. Just you know you got a weird lump on your balls. Just send it to Matt Brown one 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 instagram and no fuss no muss he'll reply and give you honest feedback and that is why we love him because he's not only really good at what he does he's always honest in what he does and 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 we love matthew brown from wholesome what's some fucked up shit you've seen us do (laughs) i don't think i can say yes yes Oh man, I could go down the rabbit hole of stories, but uh, you've already said some of the best ones I can think of in your stories. I could tell you about the story about the first time I tried cocaine. That was quite of an interesting tale. Yeah, go on. Are you, you allowed to? Yeah, sure. Oh, so I was in the uh, beautiful country of Bolivia, which I know you've been to as well. Uh, I've been to Colombia, not Bolivia. Do you not go to Bolivia? You did tell me. I know this story. Yeah. It's a good story. And um, I was with the uh, Dyers of the Wild Ones host, Aaron Shanks, and we were traveling around the country. And we're in La Paz, and we uh, we had heard rumor of a um, of a club that sold a cocaine across the bar, and it sparked our interest. <laughs> Don't know why. And um, basically, we to find this club, we had to go and ask taxi drivers where the location was. And a lot of taxi drivers are very, very hesitant, and were like, "No, no, we 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 don't know where that is. I've never heard of it." And then one guy was like, "Yeah." Sure, I'll take you there. Not a problem. And so they they drove us there and we uh, got to this weird dark road and there was just this giant sort of medieval style door with one of those little peep holes in it where they mm. open it up and they look at you. They said, you know, come on in. And we went inside and it was just a, f- a room with a couch and a TV and a man sitting there with a with a giant rifle on the couch. Fuck. And we thought we were, we were fucked at that point. But uh, lucky for us we won't and we were taken down a, a hallway i remember and then down some stairs maybe and then suddenly the 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 wall opened up and there harry was a potter yeah harry's very harry potter whoa 
Do you know him? Yeah, he was there. Wow, he's a cokehead apparently. Is Hermione yeah. a girl or a guy? Ron. No, she runs Hermione's the place. Ron. She's never there though. Um, but yeah, we went through this uh, opening in the wall into a nightclub and there was playing music and you could buy beers and there was nice couches and glass tables and and flags of the, the world all, all over the place. And you can also order cocaine across the bar. So what did you say to the bartender? Did you say, oh, We were so nervous because it was the first time we'd ever done coke. And so we just said, oh, how, you know, what can we get and how much? And they just gave us the prices on like a little list. Oh, so how much a for a line? Oh, it's got, I cannot remember. I would say about for, for a gram of coke, maybe $30. <laughs> Sorry. It was quite cheap. And uh, then they, they, they uh, chopped up uh, straws for however many of us there were. They gave us a little black bag with some cocaine in it and gave us a CD case to put our cocaine on. CDs are these things that play music for anyone who's extremely young. And um, yeah, we uh, tried our first cocaine. And we were only meant to go there, have a little bit and then you know go home. And I remember getting there at like nine o'clock and then suddenly it was like, two in the morning six months later yeah it was a good time and i met we happened to meet another guy in there from brisbane um just happened to be there what was his name i cannot remember shit it'd be so good let's call him sean shawnee and me and shawnee were having a chat and suddenly i had this like it was late and we were about to we we're getting close to leaving and i was under the influence and basically i uh, had this real big pain in my in my gut and i didn't know what it was and I was like, oh, I've got to go to the toilet. And um, what followed was uh, this... A, a coke shit. Yuck. Yeah. This, um, what's known as the cocaine poo. Oh, I do. And I'm sure many has uh, felt it before, but we uh, went, to the to- went to the toilet. And of course, there was this um, shitty third world toilet and it was very disgusting and it was one of those moments where i was like do i sit on it do i not do i put paper down and i just went fuck it i'm gonna squat over it and just get it out and um yeah i I think i'm pretty sure i took my pants off i can't remember to be honest and um yeah i squatted over the bowl and it all came out and it was quite thick slop no it was thick thick slop yeah whoa and um yeah that was it So basically only do cocaine if you're in Bolivia and be very wise with your choices. Don't ever be not wise. All our listeners are obviously, you know, incredibly intelligent, ah! educated people, but so we don't need to remind you, but just for those if you know by chance someone uneducated is listening, be wise. Don't not be wise and always be smart. Don't not be smart. Be wise and smart. Always. That's our, like our motto. Don't not be wise and not, not, not be be smart or some shit. It's <laughs> 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 <was> so good. <laughs> well, I'm going back to behind the camera so you guys can uh, finish this podcast. I'm right, going thank here. you, Matthew Brown from Wholesome. And none of this would be possible without you. You're a true god of podcasts and we love you very much. I'm going to finger his Oh no! I am. I've already got No, 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 no. I have a feel of his little cock there. Wholesome concreting cunt. Wholesome concreting. Concrete the ass. Wholesome concreting. Get up. Wholesome concreting. Yeah, okay. So the name of our next segment is called the Pain Tefu Fion Pai Klimpatum Halimiantilana. Which of course means prank call in Latin, and this week we're going to uh, pretend to be really, really drunk while ordering pizza. So I'm going to be over the top intoxicated, be super drunk, and then see how long Domino's puts up with my shit. Matthew Brown from Wholesome always stands up during prank calls. Yeah, he finds it so cringy. All right, who are we calling? Uh, Domino? Domino's. I might actually try and order a pizza. Right now. I'm quite hungry. Hmm. Really? Are you? No, I'm good. I've got alcohol. Sicko. Hmm. And Pierce. Excuse close place a uh, pick up order, please. Pick up. 
Yeah, yeah, just pick up water, please. For uh, for what's three people? Um, sorry. Let's pick up order, please, for th- three yeah. people. Yeah. Can I just get a uh, f- uh, barbecue meat lovers? Yeah. Uh, s- <laughs> Can I just get a, a, a garlic? Do you guys got this garlic bread on the side of it? Or sh- so I can put um, it on? Put- pizza? What's that? Um... Sorry, what was it? Can I just get a barbecue, barbecue meat, meat lovers? Yeah. And you guys got the barbecue, barbecue bread on the fucking side of it? <sighs> Shit. Uh... You got the garlic bread, yeah? A garlic bread, yeah? Yeah, I'll get a, cu- I'll get a couple of them up. <laughs> uh, for the garlic bread? A cut like garlic bread, and then what's his, what's the name of that? Uh, what's the call of it? What's the pineapple on the tops of it? Hawaiian. Yes. Is it the pizza? The uh, with pineapple. Get a Sven. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll just get a so a Hawaiian couple of the top of it in a cool lineman. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Uh, Let's get a. What's that already? What's that? Hawaiian and meat lovers? Yeah, Hawaiian meat lovers and the garlic bread. Hawaiian meat lovers and two garlic bread and also one. Do you. Can, cans of Fanta? I'm sorry, what do you, do you do cans of Fanta? Fanta. Oh, we got like Sunkiss. You gotta smack you. <laughs> what? Uh, I... What did you say? What, what did you say? Do you, do you have <laughs> cans of Fanta? Shit, fucking cans of Fanta. Oh, uh, we don't have Fanta here. Fanta. What's what's you got? What's you uh, got? We got Sunkist. Yeah, 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 go. Yes. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Take, take cans of the sun kiss. Uh, yeah, and anything else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess, what's that fucking one with the fucking bacon on it and the fucking. <laughs> fucking hell. Uh, the, uh. Fucking, give us a second. Uh, the fucking. Shit. Hey! What's that chicken one? With a, with a, with a fucking bacon on it, you. Hey, wake up. Bacon, barbecue chicken and bacon. What'd you just say? Barbecue chicken and bacon. Barbecue chicken and bacon. Yes. Yeah, 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 And. Uh, anything else? Yeah, yeah, and do you just have just one, one can fanner? Sorry? Can and pineapple? No, 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 one, one can drink, the fan of drink, you know, the fucking orange shit one. The orange, orange, the fan of, you got a can of the fucking... Thanks, Why did you call me? Huh? I'm so sorry, but I can hear you. Okay. <clears throat> so we got a barbecue meat lovers, right? Then we got the pineapple and cheese. Okay. Pineapple cheese one. Hawaiian? Yeah, 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 fucking Hawaiian. And then we got the fucking two cans of Fanta. Two, what was it again? Two cans of Fanta. Okay. And then we got the fucking... Barbecue chicken and fucking bar- bacon. Barbecue chicken and bacon. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then we got that can of fucking. Oh, what beef? On the. F- Is on the cross or? Foreskin. Oh, <laughs> you got the foreskin base. What beef? 
The foreskin base. Can't see shit. What? What is Sandy come? A Domino team member will be with you shortly. Don't you love it? <laughs> Dude, fall asleep when they're snoring. Mask scanner that checks the quality. Hello. 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 Yeah, we're definitely making a difference in the world. So. Oh my god, that was good. So if you'd like to uh, donate, uh, visit our Patreon at uh, Marty and Michael and don't... No, just buy products from our website. Exactly right. MartyandMichael.com But don't buy them from there because... No, buy them. Okay. We're the best one. <laughs> 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 <laughs>